We have a long list of things that we need to do before we leave the U.S. and cross into Mexico. And it feels so good when we can check another one off the list. So we just got Piper and Ella's vaccines done. So moving on down the list. Favorite task in the world, dealing with our storage unit. This is why I can't have a sharp object. I'm already bleeding five minutes into it. One storage unit to another storage unit, which will save us uh, what, like sixty so percent? <laughs> We're gonna save sixty percent by moving it 150 miles closer to Tampa. So yeah, tell, right now we're paying two hundred forty dollars a month. Right, we're paying two hundred forty bucks a month right now for climate control uh, storage in Fort Myers, which is where we bought the RV initially. Uh, now we're going to move it up to Tampa, really, really close to Tampa Airport. So if we ever have to pop in and get anything, it'll be super close. And it's only eighty eight dollars a month. Yeah, it's worth one long day of driving back and forth. Yep. So we have movers who are meeting us. Uh, to load the truck, <clears throat> then I'm going to drive the truck up, Caitlin's going to follow, and we have different movers who are going to unload the truck and then put it into the new storage unit. Well, I really don't have that much stuff, so it shouldn't take too long. Unit to a 10 by 10 and it all fit. So, see you later, stuff. Let's see. Hello from beautiful Bradenton Beach, Florida. Yeah, and this is only like the second or third time that we've been on the beach in just over a month of being in Florida. Yeah, which is pretty sad because I love the beach, so it's taken a lot of self control to not come to the beach while we've been here. Right, but I mean, we've gotten a lot done since we've been here. Yes, a tremendous amount since we even last spoke. Um, and I had to fit in a quick trip up to Pennsylvania for 48 hours to host my best friend's bridal shower, which was beautiful and a lot of fun, and then came right back down and got to work again. We've done, oh my gosh, like stuff for the pets, uh, stuff for our car, stuff for our RV, insurance. It's been a busy couple weeks. There's a lot that you have to do when you're planning to leave the country for an extended amount of time, so we're getting there. Did you know if you have financing on your RV that you have to ask for special permission to take your vehicle out of the country? We sure didn't. <laughs> but now we know. <laughs> so as it turns out, and it's not just um, our lender in particular, but many lenders require that you notify them in advance and then they give you in writing authorization to take it out of the country. Now as it so happens, our lender is very generous. They will give you up to six months of time where you can take it into Canada or Mexico. Uh, I just had to request it and I had it the following day and they, um, they actually faxed it to us and then also sent us a hard copy as well. We've traveled a lot of miles this year and in the last 20,000 miles, we've been towing our 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe on a tow dolly. And that is not fun. Don't get me wrong, it's not terrible. It's great to have the car, but the tow dolly can be a bit of a pain sometimes. And we have gotten it down to a science where it takes us about 10 minutes to load it and five minutes to unload it. So we have gotten good at it, but we just don't want that extra layer of stress dealing with a tow dolly while we're in Mexico. Yeah, so we've been looking at all kinds of options about uh, different vehicles or even a scooter or moped. And in the end, for us, we think the best decision is to try and find a really, really inexpensive SUV that we can tow flat, meaning four wheels flat on the ground with like some type of a uh, tow bar that attaches to the RV. So that's what we've been shopping for now over the last week. And let's just say it's been less than successful. <laughs> we've looked at 
Jeeps, we've looked at Honda CRVs, we've even looked at Ford Fiestas. And in the end, I think we're pretty close. I have a feeling we're gonna end up with a CRV and uh, I will be putting the base plate on and attaching all of the hardware. Which incidentally, if any of you have ever done that to a Honda CRV, tell us and let us know how bad that was to try and do it on your own. Before we do it. <laughs> instead of paying somebody to install it. The next thing that we checked off of our Mexico planning list are our pet immunizations. Up until December of this past year, you had to have a specific health certificate for bringing animals into Mexico. But they got rid of that, which is great for us, because the only thing that we had to do was make sure they're up to date on all of their shots. So we just made sure that their rabies was good, um, got some of their booster shots, so they are good to go and have a clean bill of health for life in Mexico. Yeah, and we'll have the link below for the exact section of the Mexican rules and regulations in case you're ever questioned about it because from what we've read, there is even still confusion since it's so recently a change that some people ask for the paperwork even though the paperwork is no longer required. Next up on our list was insurance. Insurance. Mexico has really high liability requirements and we were able to find a half million dollar policy uh, that only had a premium of $200 for a full six months. Now, our insurance, our U.S. insurance, covers us for collision, comprehensive, uh, fire, and loss of personal effects, but you still had to get liability insurance for Mexico. We still have a lot of work to do, but at this point, we're on track to leave Florida this week and cross over with our friends ETRV and I'm Not Lost, I'm RVing into Mexico on February 2nd. And things can change, and we're prepared for that. A lot of it's dependent on when we find that tow vehicle that we're looking for and just how many things we get checked off our list because we want to be prepared when we cross the border south. But we're very excited, and if you want to follow along and are excited about our upcoming videos, RVing in Mexico, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell so that you get notifications when we post our weekly videos. And thanks for watching. I'm already bleeding five minutes into it. <laughs> it really hurts. I did it like right on the crease. Mm. We have no band aids. Are you going to help me? <laughs> no. I mean, is, my shirt is reinforced right now. That's all I want to be doing. <laughs> this is this Swiffer. Duster thing. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> It'll stop me from bleeding everywhere. Here, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned. Always pack band-aids. <laughs>